definition time. It's like you guys are gaming takes for the rest of my, my life. Okay. What's going to happen now is that Brogan and Christopher are going to share and be a part of what is called a first fight box. Makes sense, right? Remember what I told you about running into a tree with a sled? Anybody who's ever been married, truly married, truly in love married, has fights. If they don't, they're lying. Amen. The first fight box is a reminder that life is interesting, if not wonderful. What will happen inside this box? There is a bottle of a selected beverage. I think it's grape juice. And what will go? Probably not. <laughs> and what will go in here? Hold on, please. So I don't lose it. And then what will go on? No, I'm going to it. Man, you can tell where he started his employment at. <laughs> Got a flashlight, the movie theater, put it right in your eye. And what will happen, then they're going to put their vows and love letters in the box. And then they're going to put a nail, two nails, in the box. And then what's going to happen is, when they have their first real fight, I ain't talking about which way the tube of toothpaste is squeezed out, or the roll of toilet paper comes off, you know. I'm talking about the mother fight. Then they're going to open that up. And what they're going to do, they're going to read their vows to each other. And then they're going to uncork the bottle. And then they're going to remember this day and what brought them to this day. I guarantee you, I think that fight's going to end real fast. Or, if this is some ideal perfect couple I have never met before in my life who never have a fight, on the first anniversary, rather than eating that stagnant, stale, frozen top of a wedding cake, You've all done that to you, huh? <laughs> They're going to open up this box. They're going to read their love letters to each other, and they're going to celebrate their first anniversary with something better than an old frozen stag cake. Okay. So, I am moving aside so you guys can do your magic with the box. Get up, wait. I never expected this to be 10 minutes to try to figure out what's going on. Remembering that as members of one body you're called to live in harmony. In 
never forget to be thankful for what God has done for us. Let's pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your Son has given his life, and especially upon Christopher and Rome, whom you have made one flesh and holy matrimony. Give them wisdom and devotion and the ordering of their common life that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, their spirits in your spirits, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their lives. Bless them that they may have the grace to live the promises they have made. Defend them from all enemies of their love and teach them the patience of bondage or forgiveness. And bring them to old age rejoicing in love's winter more fully than in springtime. Amen. Now may the grace of Christ attend you. The love of God surround you and the Holy Spirit keep you. That you may grow in holy love, find life in each other always, and remain faithful to life's end. Amen. Yeah,